friends welcome to bank exam cafe and in today's episode on let's revise five marks question on complete syllabus this is the part 2 and in this part 2 we are going to see few more questions of five marks in the coming year of 2021 examination in section 5 there will be three questions that will be asked for five marks and this is the part second of let's revise five marks question i also request you to download the study material from the description box the link is provided in the description box of the assignment number 4 you can download and solve all the questions so that you will get the idea of the questions that are asked in the examination now let us see the first question of this episode friends here is the question on the screen the sum of the ages of a father and his son is 45 years 5 years ago the product of their ages in years was 124 determine their present ages friends here it is given that the sum of the ages of father and his son is 45 years let the father's age be x and the son's age be y years and the sum of their ages is 45 years and therefore father's age plus son's age that is equal to 45 years now the sex next condition is that 5 years ago the product of their ages was 124 5 years ago what will be their ages x minus 5 and the son's age will be y minus 5 and the product of these ages is given as 125 so x minus 5 multiplied by y minus 5 which is equal to 120 Now here this equation we can write as x plus y is equal to 45 as y is equal to 45 minus x. We can put the value of y here in this equation so we will get it as x minus 5 into another bracket the value of y is what it is 45 minus x so 45 minus x minus 5 which is equal to 124 so 45 minus 5 will be 40 and so it is x minus 5 into another bracket it will be minus x minus minus x plus 40 which is equal to 124 now multiply these two brackets if you multiply these two brackets you will get it as minus x square plus 45 x minus 200 that is equal to 124 take this 124 to the other side and that will be minus 124 and so it is minus x square plus 45 x minus 200 minus 125 that will be minus 324 which is equal to 0 now change the signs throughout the equation so it will be x square minus 45x plus 324 which is equal to 0 now we will solve this quadratic equation by splitting middle terms so if you solve by splitting middle term you will get the factors as x minus 9 and another factor will be x minus 36 which is equal to 0 the product of these two brackets is zero it means either this bracket should be zero or this bracket should be zero so x minus 9 that is equal to zero or x minus 36 that is equal to zero and therefore x is equal to 9 or x is equal to 36 here x is equal to 9 cannot be the father's age so it is rejected 
and therefore x is equal to 36 will be the father's age therefore father's age father's age is equal to 36 years and son's age that is equal to 45 minus 36 and that is 9 years and therefore the father's age is 36 years and son's age is 9 years so let us see the next question friends here is a question on the screen o is the center of a circle of radius 5 cm o is the center of this circle whose radius is given as 5 cm t is a point such that OT is equal to 13 centimeter. T is a point such that this OT, this total length is given as 13 centimeter. And QT intersect the circle E. This QT, QT intersect the circle at E. It should not be QT, it should be AB. AB, this AB intersect OT at point E and if AB is a segment tangent to a circle at E, find the length of AB. If AB is a tangent, AB is a tangent to a circle at point E, then we have to find the length of AB. So here friends, what we will do first, we will take this triangle OPT and since OP is a radius and PT is a tangent, the radius is perpendicular to the tangent at the point of contact. So this angle will be 90 degree and so we can write that OP is perpendicular to PT because the reason you know that the radius is perpendicular to the point of contact. So OPT is a right angle triangle. So here we can apply the Pythagoras theorem. So here we get in triangle OPT, OPT, o, OT square, square of the hypotenuse is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides that is OP square plus PT square. So it will be OP square plus PT square. Now OT is what it is given as 13 square. So 13 square is 169 which is equal to OP is the radius of the circle and that is given as 5 centimeter. So 5 square will be 25 plus PT square. Now take 25 to this side so 169 minus 25 that will be 144 and so PT square which is equal to 144 taking square root of both the sides we will get PT is equal to 12 centimeter. Highlight this this is the first important state uh, step we have got the length of the tangent PT that is 12 centimeter. So this total we have got as 12 centimeter. Here friends AP and AE are the tangents drawn from the exterior point and therefore AP and AE are equal. So here AP is equal to AE is equal to say X reason that the tangents drawn from the exterior points are also equal. So AP is equal to AE that is equal to X. So here this we can solve as here AP is equal to AE we are taking as X. So AT now AT that can be written as PT minus AP correct this PT or AT can be written as PT minus AP. So AT that is equal to PT minus 
ए पी सो पी टी माइनस ए पी सो इट इज दिस टोटल पी टी इज वॉट इट इज ट्वेल्व सेंटीमीटर एंड दिस वी आर टेकिंग एज एक्स सो दिस इज एक्स दिस टोटल इज ट्वेल्व सो इट विल बी ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स सो ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स सो ए टी इज इक्वल टू ट्वेल्व माइनस एक्स दिस कैन बी सॉल्व फर्दर एज ए is perpendicular to ot because oe is a oe is a radius and ae is a tangent and therefore a radius is always perpendicular to tangent at the point of contact so this angle will be 90 degree and therefore this angle will also be 90 degree and therefore triangle aet will be a right angle triangle and therefore here ae or you may say ab is perpendicular to oe the reason you know that the reason is that radius is perpendicular to the point of contact of a tangent now here this aet in triangle aet in triangle aet we can apply the pythagoras theorem and solve it so what you will get at square square of the hypotenuse at square that is equal to ae square plus et square ae square plus et square and so here you get at square at is what at we have got as 12 minus x this total length is 12 this is x we are taking this as x so this we will get as 12 minus x so it will be 12 minus x bracket square which is equal to ae square that is ae this we are taking as x this is x and this will also be x so it will be x square plus et square et is what et this total is given as 13 and radius is 5 so this et will be 13 minus 5 and that is equal to 8 so it will be 8 square solve this it will be 12 minus x bracket square that will be 144 minus 24x plus x square which is equal to x square plus 8 square will be 64 so this x square and x square will get cancel and now take uh, 144 to other side so you will get this as 24x which is equal to 80 and therefore x is equal to 80 by 24 if you solve this you will get it as 10 by 3 cm and therefore we have got the value of x as 10 by 3 cm and what is x that is pa and that only we have to find that is 10 by 3 cm but friends here we have to find ab so i take this figure here so this ab that we have to find we have got pa as 10 by 3 therefore ae will also equal to 10 by 3 and therefore ab will be equal to 10 by 3 plus 10 by 3 that will be 20 by 3 and therefore friends here uh, ab ab that is equal to 20 by 3 cm